So let's start, guys. This is we called as day zero of your CCI security program because day zero is called introduction. This will be introduction for us. Okay. So what is the CCI security 6.1 and what is this introduction? Let me first start with explaining you what is the meaning of the word called as end-to-end. -end. Okay. So the training that you guys have opted is basically called as zero to expert level training. Okay. Zero to expert level of training. If you're not able to understand, or basically the point over here is if you have zero knowledge in the world of security, still you can do this particular course. Because I'm going to take it from the zero level itself. The only prerequisites for this particular course is you should be familiar, not certified also, CCNA routing and switching. If you are CCNP routing switching, it is good for you. CCA also, it is good for you. But bare minimum, CCNA knowledge should be there because I'm not going to teach it what is IP subnetting and what is uh, VLAN and what is spanning tree protocol, what is OSP, VA. basic level of EIGRP you should know, basic level of BGP you should know because that will come very, very important when it comes to the VPN. So just to give a glimpse over here, VPN is basically an overlay protocol. So underlay something should be there enough for the VPN to, to, to create some virtual private tunnels. Right. So this is the prerequisites. This is advanced, but it is not like that. Also, you have to have certifications in that. Knowledge is, bare minimum knowledge is required for this. Second, we are not going to deliver the lectures in, a, say, for example, which old uh, concept used to be there, like for CCNA security, then CCNP security, and then CCI security. Okay, it's not like that. First of all, what is CCI security? Think in a way, most of you have done your schoolings in old days, right? Imagine you have you used to have the concept like or subjects like physics in your board examination. You might have of different different countries have different way of education over there. But say for example, physics you have, then you used to have a subject called as chemistry, then then maths, then English, and so on and so forth. Correct. First examination, then second examination used to have a break of five days or three days depending on that. Then again, five days of week, a week break or three or four days of gap. Here also again, three days of gap or something. Just imagine all these subjects, if it's going to be tested on the same day, that is nothing but CCI. That means physics, chemistry, maths, English, all four getting tested in one day. That becomes CCI. So in a very similar way, we have CCI security where different components are there. So what are the components that we're going to learn it over the period of time or modules? I'm going to teach you in a module-based training. Like we're going to do the ASA. I'll tell you the table of content also in a few minutes. ASA, we're going to then do VPN. We're going to do then Cisco ICE. We're going to do move towards Stealth Watch, which is new name called a Secure Network Analytics. We're going to do next generation firewall, WSS, email infra security. So these are the modules that I'm going to perform. These are the things which I'm going to take it over the period of time. So what is what is end-to-end -end training? End-to-end -end training basically is we gonna start the stuff from the zero level and we're going to finish it to the expert level. So we're going to start from the ASA. If you have zero knowledge on ASA, completely fine because we're going to start from zero to expert. We'll finish this module, this, this, this. So any of the module which I've written, any of the module which I've written has zero percent, what do you call that? Prerequisites. Okay have 0% prerequisites, like you have to have enter over there or something like that. Uh, Praveen, you joined two times. Just double check it. From one place you can join, brother. Next. Hi, 
Having said that, coming back to this place. Now, why? what is this CCI security 6.1? What is not 6.0? So, still 6.0 version is in the market, okay? It's still running. The last day to give 6.0 is uh, basically your 19th of October. People are still giving. We still have the addresses over there. People have two days back also. People have cleared. What is 6.1? So this is called as minor changes. Okay. Whenever it comes to the minor changes, that means few, less than 25% Cisco changes. And that to bare minimum with the software of the devices. So whatever the topic of 6.0 was there, right? Same concept are here also. Same hardware is also there. Same technologies. Same protocols. The difference, barely the difference is ICE in the current version is 2.4. So in 6.1 version, we will be doing 3.1. So this time I'm already teaching for last eight months. So this is not new. Like I started teaching because I always believe in teaching the product which is up to in the market. So if for you, I'm not going to teach 3.3. .3, I'm going to teach 3.1. I'm going to teach you the best which is running. 3.3 .3 is the latest one. That is where are we going to learn the things. Is there any GUI changes? No, hardly any changes. Is there any GUI change from 2.4? Absolutely. That's what, see, anything before the dot is called as major. Anything after the decimal value is called as minor. Any major change means drastic changes are there. Anything after the dot is called as minor, so that means small, subtle changes are there. Okay, so like 3.1 and 3.3 .3 has bare minimum differences. The revision numbers are only there. Similarly, the uh, you have next generation firewalls. This is basically over here uh, in, in version 6.0, it is 6.2. In the exam, it is 7.1. I am going to teach you 7.3.1, which is one month old only. This is my evening batch, all batches I'm teaching the latest. Now, why we are going with the latest? Because that is going to be there in your production also. Isn't it? And I'm going to teach you on the basis of the production. Okay. Having said this. Uh, firepower manager, this for related to the next generation firewall. Ramiz. Okay. The things which comes in the next generation. Firewall management center, FTDs, you might have heard about it. This is the management center for the FTDs. So that's what, so the change is 6.1. We are going to learn 6.1 in this batch. And these are the bare minimum things, REST protocols, VPNs. So say for example, sir, is there is there any change in the VPN? Not at all, sir. VPNs are mostly written in 1990s, still 2003, the 23, we are running the same pro protocol, same version, same concept of the VPNs. So the beauty of CCI security, which I always say is that please never ever leave the security domain. One, it is a never ending field. I hope you're getting my point. It's a never ending field. Like security will be there for 2020, 2040 also, 2050 also, 2060 also. Yes, the versions are keep on going to get changed. That's fantastic. But that's fine. Now, so many people ask me this question. So Cisco's firewalls are not in the leader's board. Correct. Not in the leader's board. Just give me one second. Cisco's firewalls are not in the leader's board. Is it worth to do CCI security? 
So CCI security is not only they say that let's do Palo Alto. Why to do this? Baba Palo Alto, if you when you do a track, the examination is around about three hundred dollars, right? And only the firewall you are learning, correct? One thing you are learning. When you talk about CCI security, how many products you are learning? Just imagine. It's not only the firewalls you are learning, email world security, uh, web-based security, right? You have, you have, So you have the email security, you have the web security, of the firewalls. You're going to learn your eyes. You're going to learn the analytical tools, which is like a stealth watch. Correct. So many infrastructure security, you're going to learn it. So many module comes over here, which over the period of time is very valuable. A, B. Talk about any firewall. What's the difference between Palo Alto? What's the difference between Fortinet? Right, or Palo Alto, or uh, Checkpoint, or Cisco ASA, not ASA, FTD, I'll say. At the end of the day, take any of the product. 90 to 95 percent, the concepts are the same, the features are same, right? It's the hardware which makes a particular product on a leader's boat and put them on the leader's boat. It's the hardware, basically. Right? The compute resources, the performance of that hardware. Like Palo Alto, hardwares are brilliant. Fortinet, bare minimum operating system and runs tremendously very fast. The GUI access is easy. User-friendly GUI. Right? All these things matters. But at the end of the day, what is Palo Alto blocking the same? Fortinet is also blocking. Checkpoint is also blocking. FTD is also blocking the same. So when they say that, so many have seen that the bloggers are writing that CCI security is this and that. Sir, still CCI security is top 10 certifications in the world, I will tell you. Top 10 CCI security, uh, top 10 toughest exam also, CCI security comes. Okay. So one of the leading track right now. <clears throat> Sir, ASA to last. We don't compare ASA with anything now. ASA is end of life. If you talk about FTD, I'll include. So for me, now Palo Alto is still the number one. Second is Fortinet. For me, third is FTD now. And fourth is Checkpoint. So again, it depends, sir. Your user perspective, right, Prasad? Why still... A, uh, why ASA is still in the... Good question, sir. I'll first uh, give answer to Prasad and then I'll come to you, Jasir, sir. So the point which I'm trying to tell you is everyone has their own perspective and goals. Correct, Prasad. So few people think that Polo Alto is doing good, but it is way beyond. It's like Mercedes. Think in that way, sir. And this is like Toyota. You understood? Luxurious and all, but it comes with a hefty amount also. Palo Alto's licenses are very expensive. So with expensive, so you should have a particular product which is in your range, in your budget, which is uh, like your operational expenditures and all those things should not go shoot up very high and which gives you all the features with the other can do. You get my point, sir? That's the reason Palo Alto is expensive. That it becomes its drawback. But yes, the majority of the features that Palo Alto and Fortinet. So what, what's the difference between Palo Alto and Fortinet? Both gives you the same features. The only difference, uh, Prasad over here is, Fortinet is a little cheaper than the Palo Alto. That is the edge the Fortinet is getting it. And one of the reasons why it is going down the line everywhere. Okay. Why it is... Uh, moving into the different world. So Palo Alto is basically the number one, but because the price, it goes over there. Then comes your FTDs, then you comes your checkpoint. Okay, Prasad. Now the next question is, uh, 
why ASA is still in the lab? Why it is still? Yes. So what Cisco, you need to give one, one part to the Cisco. You need to give something to Cisco man. And that is their sales and marketing also. You just cannot beat sales of Cisco. They, yes, they know their product is lagging, but still the amount of sales that they do and the, the ideas, the way of ideas they comes up, brilliant. So, sir, Jasir, we will see over the period of time tomorrow's lecture when we're going to start it. In the year 2005, Cisco ASM, exactly more precise, May 2005, Cisco has introduced a box called as an ASM. Again, tomorrow I'm going to tell this particular segment, but ASA has been introduced in the year 2005. It has uh, changed the world at that particular moment, right? Because before this, it used to call us picks. Now, this ASA, Cisco has sold to the majority of the industries because the first product of Palo Alto came into the world by the 2007. And to establish that its own thing, it comes into the 2009. So by 2010 or 2012, say for example, till 2015, Cisco was there good into the world of uh, security. They have sold this ASA product like anything. And they also, along with that, they have sold the 10, 10 years of TAC cases with that. TAC, TAC uh, what do you call that? Support with that. Support is also very important. Na? And we know that Cisco TAC is one of the big, biggest and the best TACs available. So now because this Polo Alto, because this Fortinet came into the picture, Checkpoint came into the picture, there are companies who have already invested 50-50 ASAs into that. And because something new came into the picture, doesn't mean that we are going to get every con uh, uh, company has that much budget to shift it towards the Polo Alto. Every six months, every eight months, every one year, some new product is coming. Do you think, sir, it is easy to move on from every year with the new feature? No, it's not easy because you have already taken 10, 10 and 15, 15 years of tax supports. You have already given a hefty amount to Cisco. So still in the companies, I must say, you won't believe it. If you'll see the data by the Gartner, 52% companies across the globe still owes ASAs. And remaining 48% are fighting between FTD are fighting between your next generation firewall like Palo Alto, Checkpoint, as well as your, your Fortinet. Can you believe it? Only 48% across the globe. There are so many companies, the low-level companies, which are the highest in number, correct? The low-budget companies are highest in the number. You talk it, you name it, every company needs a firewall, correct? Every company, every con company needs a security. But every company, Every company doesn't have that much budget to take these next generation firewalls. So that's the reason the number is huge. And ASA comes in a very hefty amount. Talk about my institute, right? I'm also doing within the ASA only. All my VPNs, all when you guys going to connect to do the labs, we are doing it on the ASAs. ASA supports your, uh, what do you call that? Layer 7, layer 3, layer 4. But in layer 7, they have to do extra things. Different things that I'll let you know over the period of time. So why still ASA is in the CCI lab? But still 52% is only ASA because of its tax supports, because of ease of that, availability. Correct? Everything is there. So Jasir, I think this is clear. That's the reason they are not going to remove. They, I don't think so they're going to remove it for next one or two years also from the lab. It is very important. Coming back to the slide. CCI security. 6.1, I hope this I've made you explain what is end-to-end, -end, what is Cisco securities, what is 6.1 version and all. Again, I'll give you more glimpse over the period of time. That is important. I used to work, so I'll be your trainer. Let's start with this. I used to work in a company called as Netmetric. I was the CTO of that company. Later, I started my own. Now I'm the founder and the CEO of my company. I lives in Bangalore. I'm partnered with Global Knowledge. I partnered with Fastlane for the B2B connectivities, B2B trainings. With you, I'm doing B2C, which is called as business to client. I'm a bike rider. 15 plus experience now. 
my specialization, I'm 2x CCI, 3x soon. I'll tell you with CCI, I'm doing down the line. So firewalls and the data centers and CCI security and data center is my expertise over the period of time. And I always believe that whenever you also guys going to do the CCIs, get only two or three CCIs in your belt. It's not necessary to have all six, seven CCIs. There is no meaning of that because a person can be an expert on two or three fields or maximum two fields. You cannot be uh, expert in all the fields, correct? So it is not necessary you have to do all the CCIs, whatever being available by Cisco. Yes, become multi-vendor. That career path also, I'm going to give it to you um, uh, over the period of time. What do you like more? I like security. Next. How this 6.1 version, what will be your agenda in today's lecture? I'll tell you the progressive storylines. We will talk about how to prepare, what are the things, how are you going to crack this lab and how we're going to do make this particular certification uh, helpful for you. So my agenda is today's lecture. First, I'm going to introduce what is CCI and all, written examinations, labs, how to prepare, pre uh, how to prepare and we're going to close for the day. So I hope everyone knows what is CCI, Cisco Certified Inter-Network Expert. It's an expert level of examination. It requires dedication, to be honest. Okay, before I start with the CCI, I want to tell you one more important thing. That how we're going to prepare it. The classes will be 90 minutes daily. And I'm going to take the lectures from Monday to Thursday. Three, three and a half months bare minimum because here the holidays are also going to come. I hope you understand that Diwali will be the break where I'm going to take that time only I take the break. Now that the break is doesn't mean that it's, it's going to be 15, 20 days. No, like that week only we'll have a week break. Rest every time we're going to and I'll try to compensate the things for that. So three, three and a half months, the course will go not beyond that. Followed by two weeks of boot camp, we will take it. Now, bootcamp is basically the place where we're going to demonstrate and explain the main lab, which is going to come on your judgment day. Okay. Two weeks of bootcamp and followed by your rack rentals, rack practice session. I'll also come on this rack practice and how things will work on this. It's Monday to Thursday, we'll do it. Okay, not Friday. Majority says for that. So I'll go with this Monday to Thursday. Okay. Friday will be the labbing. Friday and Saturday will be the labbing days for this. Okay. Friday and Saturday will be your lab days where you're going to do the labbing. And please remember Sunday, nothing. Okay. We will talk about that bootcamp time and schedules as if now, no. First, we'll focus on this, Harshad. Bootcamp timing and schedule will be the same time. Right. Dates, I cannot tell you right now. Timing, I can tell you it's the same, 8 a.m. in the morning. Okay, timing will be the same. And bootcamp happens for each and every batch. So if that week you feel that the bootcamp will not be able to attend in 8 a.m. in the morning, you can do it in the evening hours also. Depends on that. Coming on this Sunday, you are not supposed to do anything. So if you go to the gym also, like you might have a coach or something, you say that body also needs to recover, right? So you don't do gymming or any exercise. You just relax on Sunday. The same thing going to happen. Those who are from your Saudi countries where Friday, Saturday is off, Saturday will be your holiday. Like you don't do anything. Sunday is the day where you just sit, relax, watch Netflix, enjoy with your family, go out, relax. Reboot yourself. Come with the same energy from Monday onwards. Okay? From Monday onwards. Friday and Saturday will be your labbing day. You're going to do the lab over the period of time I'm going to give you uh, what do you call that? The task and so many things. So when you talk about CCI, you will be having two hurdles before you. I have a PC. We'll talk at the time of sir uh, practice session. I'll explain it over there, Prasad. Okay. So the point here is uh, your CCI. When you talk about CCI exam, 
you have two hurdles or two barriers are there which needs to be get cleared barrier number one is you need to write your written examination old days terminology we used to call as written which is called nowadays called as core examination and then you need to clear your lab main which is your own practical examination okay so what's the difference between them so one is called as written examination also called as core c-o-r-e core examination it can be given to any Pearson location. You can Google it out. What are the way in which city you are? Where, a, where are the Pearson location? Every city generally have the Pearson location. In your country, it will be there for sure. Else, if you are not a fan of going to the center, you can give this examination. Post-pandemic, they have done it online. So 99% students of us basically does write the written examination online only you can book a slot how to do that we will guide you up once you are ready so you don't have to go to any center also online itself it is going to done there will be certain checklist there should be some instructions you have to read them carefully and things will work out in your place then you have two hours of examination. This examination will be two hours. Okay. Like maximum. You have to finish it certain 90 to 110 questions. Now, why I've written 90 to 100? Because it depends from student to student. Like if I go tomorrow, I might get 110 questions. When you guys go tomorrow, you might get few of you can get 95. Few of them can get 101. From the pool, the Total marks will be 100. Sorry, 1000. And 830 is the passing marks. 1000 marks is this and 830 is the passing marks. Anything above 830, you will get your written examination cleared. 825, if you scored, you will be failed. So you need to score it above 830 marks. No documentation is allowed and your scorecard will come out immediately. I'll explain this no documentation in a few minutes. Once you are given your written examination, then only you'll be able to book your lab. And your duration of booking the lab is like three years. Within three years, you have to write your examination. Otherwise, this written or the code that you have given will be expired. You have to write it within three years. Next, when it comes to the lab, when it comes to the lab, it is going to be Cisco's location. It's a on-premises exam. You must say it's an on-prem examination. You have to go to the center. Like those who are from India, it's a Bangalore location. Only in Bangalore you can give it. Eight hours lab, examination is our eight hours, which comes in two segments. I'll explain, I'll give you more light on these two. Give me some time, five, ten minutes, we will reach out over here. But the main goal over here to explain it to you, your practical examination will be of eight hours. Two segments will be there in eight hours. Eight hours is being divided into two portions, that I'll let you know. Cisco documentations are available and within 48 hours your examination will come. Now what's the difference between no documentation and Cisco documentation? Your CCI lab is an open book examination. Means oh, open book doesn't mean that you can carry your own notes. No, 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 no. You will be having an access to Cisco.com. Okay. Say, for example, if by any XYZ reason, if you got stuck, by any XYZ reason, if you got stuck in uh, any of the configurations, say, for example, right? Then you can open that Cisco.com website, which Google will not have. You don't have the access to Google, only Cisco.com. And you go, can go to a concern configuration guide and any command you forget, please go and refer it and you can come back. 
So it's an open book exam in that way. But nothing can be given. You will not be having access to the Cisco.com for the written examination. That is the main meaning. And by God grace, if both the things you have cleared, you have cleared your written examination as well as you have cleared your practical examination, you will get your five-digit number, which everyone is eyeing for. Post-pandemic, the Cisco certifications has been evolved like anything. Like before the pandemic, if you notice that we used to have CCNA RNS, we used to have security, we used to have CCNA wireless, CCNA collaboration, service provider, data center and all. Before, before a pandemic. Post-pandemic, what has happened? Post-pandemic, all these three club together. Now there is only one CCNA. And that is called as only one CCNA is there. And that CCNA, oh come on, is called as unified CCNA. This is your single examination. You don't have like CCNA security now. I heard from CCIs that you will not get time to check the documentation. <laughs> It's, it's also good. That's true. But if you got stuck and you don't have any other choice, then you have to go there, Jesse, right? And time is the important, valuable thing. But if you forget the things, then what are you going to do? You just cannot sit idle, right? You have to do something. Cisco has given you the option. You can do the documentation process, sir. I hope you got the point. And then... After a unified examination for each track, for each track, Cisco has taken your two things, which is called as, uh, Cisco has taken basically what? A core examination as well as a concentration exam. Let's try to understand what's the difference between them. A core exam is basically the definition is it's a written examination to start with. Okay. This core examination, which you're going to write it, have questions from 90 to 110, as I mentioned it. Okay. And this will touch all the products. If you are core certified, you cannot say you are CCI written or you are not going to say you are CCI certified. But yes, you have the idea about all the products, all the technologies. Basically, it is the theoretical thing. But again, not in detail. It is going to touch base everything, but not in detail. So like it is in somewhere comes in between CCN and CCNP. It's not true CCNP. It's not true CCNA. Somewhere in between is the core, which gives you concept of each and every topic of the CCI security, but not in detail. But now if you wanted to do anything in detail for product wise, then the concentration exams comes into that. Like you can do the concentration examination of next generation. So then that means now one more thing. In order to get your CCNP certification or CCIE certification, the core is must. You have to write core examination in order to get CCNP certification also. So say, for example, if you want to clear, uh, get CCNP certification, write the core and then write a concentration exam. What are the different concentration examination? Next generation firewall followed by ICE. You can write ICE examination. Only ICE examination, you will be CCNP certified in ICE. Then you will be, you can write in email security. You can write it in web security. You can write it in the VPNs, right? You can write in, in the automation also. These are the main concentration fields. Any one concentration exam with the core, you will get your CCNP. In order to give the CCI, you write the core examination and then write this lab. You'll get your CCI number. That's how it goes. 
Does he say I goes more? De yes. Nope. I'll not say no. It goes in more detail. As I mentioned in, in the earlier stage, you club all these things together and write the exam on one day. You club all the concentration examination together and write the exam on one day. That is called a CCI. So there is no such thing called a CCI, CCI. The same products are there in all the CCIs, right? And in-depth knowledge is required for them. That is basically this. So same next generation firewall, IEC, ESA, WSA, VPNs will be part and parcel of this. Okay. Now when it comes to the lab, which all of us have enrolled for, right? We'll get certain idea how the labbing is going to be there. So your lab is basically 8-hour examination and I'll explain it to you. What is this? Your lab, CCI lab is 8-hour examination. I'm not saying it is way too tough. I'm not saying it is way too easy also. Anything, if you have a progressive storyline, becomes easier. Okay? But for that, the basics has to be cleared. If basics are not clear, things will be difficult for you to understand. So you have, this lab is 8-hour examination. Now listen to this particular segment, please carefully. This lab, which you're going to give it on your examination. First of all, the cost of this is $1,600. And the written examination cost is $400. Plus taxes, yes. Depends on the country. Chinmay. If it is India, for sure, taxes will come into the picture also. No, it not, does not depend on all the locations. Okay, Jasir. Few of the locations you have 1900, like Singapore is 1900. Okay. You just need to check your location, but mayor minimum is 1600. On top of that, the taxes also comes into the picture. The lab is 8-hour examination which is divided into two portions. The section number one, which is called as your design part. And section number two is your do section. Deploy, operate, optimize. Okay. Your design section is basically, I'm telling you first with respect to the hours, then I'll give you more clarity on that, is your three hours examination. And your do section is your five hours. So if you total do, it comes out to be eight hour examination. Scenario number one. Scenario number two. If by any XYZ reasons or chance, you finish your design in, in one hour only. If you finish your design in one hour, you still get your do section five hours. That means that extra two hours, remaining two hours will not carry forward. Remember that. You will not be like, sir, let me do quickly design in one hour. Let's get remaining two hours and I will be added on or it will become add on for this section number two. No, it's not going to happen. So now your total number of hours for the rack becomes six hours only. Okay. So you cannot extend your hours into the do. It is limit. Five hours is limit. Five hours is limit. Three hours is maximum over here. You cannot carry forward the things over there. 
So two modules are there of your lab, module one as well as module number two. Over here, you can see that design is the first module. Now, when it comes into the market for the first time post the pandemic, when this CCI versions got changed, it used to be fixed. Now it is variable. Means what I explained just now, you can write your examination in two hours also. You can write your examination in one hour also. And you can submit it. It's not necessary that you have to wait for three hours. Not required. All the questions are scenario based. All the questions are scenario based. The backward navigation is disabled. Very important. If I did question number one, then I did question number two. Move to the question number three. Move to question number four. It doesn't mean that. And then you realize here yeah, I did wrong something at question number two. You cannot go back. You cannot go back. Okay. It's very important. The backward navigations is not available. So very carefully, very carefully, you need to work it off. Point values are hidden. Again, next important. Whatever the each question marks are there, you will not be able to see it. And then whatever you have designed it, like in the production also it happens. First you design, HLD designs, then LLD design, high level design, then low level design. And then you comes to the deployment, then you do the operations, then you optimize it. Same thing is going to happen here also. Design, deploy, operate, optimize. So your module number two is basically five years, which is fixed. Here it is fixed, so you cannot extend it. Do section is basically where it comes as a hands-on and the web-based. That means it's a practical. This is where the command line will be exposed to you. GUIs will be exposed to you. Getting the consoles of the devices. Backward navigation is enabled. Say, for example, hypothetically, you have 24 questions. You can start from 20th question, go back to 12th question, go back to the first question. Any way of order, you can operate it. And each question points value will be shown to you. Each. When you talk about the module one design to measure a candidate's ability to create, analyze, validate, Optimize the network design, which is the base for all the deployment activities. Candidates will need to understand the capabilities of different technologies, solutions, and services. It's a scenario-based backward navigation. Points values are hidden. You'll get a general storyline. Just how the design is going to happen. You're going to see the email threads. Whatever the customer requirement is there. You being a Cisco engineer, what you are supposed to and what you are supposed to choose it. What you are going to offer to your client if they comes to for, for the security solutions. So the design model itself runs as a progressive storyline. It's a storyline which is being built. In. They will tell you, sir, this is my requirement. Okay, this is my throughput. Okay, this firewall, you can take it. Then they will ask you, what is your uh, features? What features you require it? You're going to tell it. Then they will tell you, okay, these features, you can take it. And this will evolve as the candidate progresses through the module. At the start of the module, you have presented generic information like general, general storyline, overarching requirements and the restriction, what you can do, what you can't, the current state and the main topology also will be given. So by looking to the topology, the storyline, the requirements and restriction, you need to choose the proper answers. 
Now the question comes is for that design question, what are the options? How you choose the answers? So answers could be multiple choice, single answer, like after out of four, one will be correct answer or multiple choice, multiple answer. That's why X is written. It could be single. It could be multiple. You can have a hotspot. So the hotspot questions can be there. Drag and drop will be there. Drop down would be there. Matrix based questions can also be there. But to choose the answer, you will get the resources. Candidate will be presented with the resources and these are the resources which can be simulated by the under this, this way of defining the storyline, the, uh, the uh, restrictions and the requirement can be given in a document way, can be seen in the email, but it would be given. The resources would be given it to you. Once you have done the design section, we will be moving towards the do section. Do section is basically where you will get the hybrid environment. 95% of your lab will be on the virtual environment. Right? 95% lab. Like physical devices are bare minimum like only ASS for doing the clustering. 3850 switch will be there which will be act as a NAT box for between the ice and the supplicant. Your, your 3850 switch is also going to be considered as the management switch also. Backward navigation, I've already explained. Point values are also shown. So in order for the main do section, here also you will get the main topology diagram. IP schema will be there. Same set of devices are there, built upon same high-level design solution, and so on and so forth. Okay. We'll get the design practical in similar way or format. Ha, ah, yes, of course. Of course, yes. I'll make you prepare for that. When it comes to the duo section, or do section on your judgment day. Say, for example, you have booked your lab. On your judgment day, you'll get you'll be delivered by two monitors. Use your two monitors wisely. One monitor you can open your topology with the IP schema, or one topology you can open with your question paper. And the other one, you can use it in a different way. How many questions are there? Which, which Where the questions in me? How many questions are there in what? In the exam? Like where? Uh, design section as well as duo section. That too, I also don't know. No? The exam will start from 20th of October. I can't predict right now. You got my point, sir? 20th October, it will come out, right? So we also don't know as if now. Correct, Chinme? 6.1, which you opted, no one knows as if now. The exam will start from 20th of October. Then only we will be getting an idea like how many questions will come. Now, simple fundamentals, base. Two modules are there. You have design, you have do or do. If you pass in design, but if you fail in do, the overall result is fail. If you pass in, if you pass in module two, which is do, and failed in design, the overall result is failed. You have to be pass and pass in both the case, then only you will get your passing score. You Then only you will be able to clear it up. Over the period of time, there are so many different locations are there across the globe where you can write it. You can write it in Dubai. You can write it in Singapore also. Nearby Asia locations, I'm telling you. 
Tokyo, you can write it. You can write it in India, Bangalore. Those who are from Europe and all this, please, you can write it in Brussels. Good. Those who are from US, you're going to write it in Richardson. And so on and so forth. Different locations, different people. Accordingly, you can choose your lab places. The best practice is always whatever is nearest to you. Please choose that. Then comes sir, next is and ma'am is study and preparation time and tips. Now, how to prepare? It's a long course, right? So, first of all, before I start giving you anything, in one day you will not become CCI, okay? I'll draw a chart. See, I'm doing this training and all for the last eight to nine years, okay? Thousands of students have prepared. On the day one of first week, I want, I'm just telling you any of the courses you might have also done it. Oh, it's pretty much compare this with the gym also. You know gym? Most of the people might do continuously and you know the result. And those who doesn't know the continuity is not there, you know the result. So you can compare this with CCIE. In the first few days of the CCIE, the graph goes like this. You will read so many blogs, right? You will start watching those things on the YouTube, read books and all fine. Gradually, gradually you will start losing your interest. And this graph comes like this also. Sometimes it goes in the negative axis also. Negative axis means people stop coming into the lectures also. Okay. So my request from everyone is we will maintain one line only. Less but one. Continuous. Apart from my 90 minutes of lecture, if you can just give 45 minutes extra, this is minimum. And maximum to like 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever you can get. But 45 minimum, which is for a working professional is more than enough. 90 minutes of lecture, I will going to take it. And 45 minutes, you're going to do it. 45 minutes, you're going to work. Like read some books, have exploration on your white papers which i'll tell you how I'll, I'll teach you how to get into that concerned documentation okay how you can get it but make sure that this line is a progressive line not progressive i must say constant line this line should be constant you don't have to read eight hours or 10 hours or 15 hours in the early of your stages go slow make yourself habitual with the course like when you read novel also, right? They say go with two pages or three pages or five pages. Don't in the big, until you are a good reader, until you make something as a habit, you do things in a slow way. You don't do gym of 10 hours, 10 kilometers on a treadmill on one day itself, right? Because next day will not come again for sure. Same thing with comes with the CCI. Go slow. But have some daily basis, some progress. Go slow. Don't read in today itself like eight hours. You can't do anything. Okay? So the first thing is this. Go slow with the courses. And be ready for this. This is reality. It's, it's so, this, is, this meme is there on all the internet with respect to the networking. You start happily. Slowly, slowly, you'll come to this particular stage itself. It's reality. Now, not the reality with respect to your mental stress. It's a, it's a, I'll say that it is very good journey. Why I'm showing it over here? Because more you're going to go in detail, more, and I'll make you in love with the subject. In order to understand any subject, the basics has to be strong. And my USP is to make people understand the basics itself. Advance will clear directly. Like I'll just give you an option. People want to understand SD access or DNA. If you don't know the VXLAN protocol and how LISP works, this 
product will be an utter waste. What is what are you going to do in the GUI? Correct. Similarly, when you talk about SD-WAN, you should be very familiar. You should be very familiar with your BGP underlay, MPLS and all, how it gets connected with, with MPLS, with inter internet, broadband and all. Right. Dynamic routing protocols are very important to understand. Similarly, in our codes, if you want to become expert of ICE, protocols are very important. Radius and TACAC should be on tips. Then what is ICE? Nothing is in the ICE. So you need to be ready. Happy little sorrow, little sorrow, because here comes the pain. A little bit. And I always say, no pain, no gain. You have to bear some pain, sir and ma'am. Right. Get support from the family. Now you have started these lectures. Why this slide is important. Everyone will have a family. Few of you might be bachelors. Few of you might be married, having kids. I understand that. Most of the institutes say that for uh, you have to be delete WhatsApp, delete Facebook, Instagram, or nothing is required. Relax. You don't have to overburden your mind also. You need to tell your family, see, if there is an urgent requirement, any festival seasons are there, you are going, some, some marriages are there, you want to have a vacation, please go ahead. No problem. Three days or four days is fine. Because you're going to get Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Three days you can recover those videos because... Each and every, this session is also getting recorded, right? Each and every session can be recorded and will be recorded. Correct. So you can just go through with those particular videos. You can go through with those particular missed portion and come back. But if you are planning to take a 10 days off or beyond that, I'll tell you, sir, very honestly, it will be very difficult to come back to the main track. So first tell your family, three, four days, two days, vacation is completely fine. But if you are planning before your CCI, a big chunk of a holidays, like 10 days or something, boss, it is will be an impossible for you to recover back. Tell your family that morning, this time, 8 a.m. till 9.30, this is India time. You have to be life focused on the lectures. That time someone else can come in your family and take the ownership and do the remaining householding things. Remaining 24 hours in that 22, 30 hours. That means these many numbers of hours has been left from the 24 hours because 90 minutes so we have taken it. Bare minimum, sir, 8 hours sleep is very important. Now because you're going to have it, 7 to 8, I generally say that sleep is very important. If you are not going to sleep it properly, you cannot do CCI properly because so many things needs to be read, read otherwise. So many things are going to come into the picture. So many wordings, so many white papers. And you cannot remember the things, I cannot understand the things if the sleep is not proper. So make sure your sleep is very, very to the point. If you are not a early night sleeper, try to become it. Uh, because of the work, if you are having any issues, then too, I cannot handle that also, right? I cannot tell you anything. Then you take somewhere, like in two shifts also, if you want to sleep, you can sleep it. But please sleep properly because it's very important. Tell your family, tell your kids that you will be available for their the enjoyment. As I said it earlier, Sunday is all family time. Sunday, you just relax. I will, please, I'll tell you, there is a reason I'm telling you, don't open your laptops on Sunday. You need to reboot yourself. Rejuvenate, you say that. Another word I can say it. Enjoy Netflix, go out, movies, play with your kids in the park, play some games if you are a sports player. Go out, 
enjoy on Sundays. Whatever, or you just be on the bed and sleep 18 hours. Don't, I don't care. Sunday, you don't have to do anything. Enjoy with your family. Don't trust the rumors because 90% of the rumors has been spread by the institute like us only. I'll take my name also. Right? So your single point of spoke, spoke person should be me only. Right? We have the contacts. We know all the training institutes. Here and there, we all are connected at the back end. Correct? And we respect all the training institutes also. The point which I'm trying to draw here is simple. You might have so many different friends. You might have seen certain blogs. You will be reading certain blogs because as I mentioned, it's block reading is very important. You might have your colleagues in different institute also. Not, not a problem. But if you're going to hear something or listen something, correct, you just don't take the decision and then and there itself. Your single point of contact is me. I have so many jacks around this, around the globe with respect to the Cisco certifications that I'll be the first before you to tell you. But if you've got to know something about it, so first clarify it with me before spreading it to someone else also. How much time it will take us to clear the lab like from today? Is that the question? I'll let you know that, sir. I'll let you know. So don't trust the rumors at all. Make your GPS, which is very important. Goals plus plans. And then only you will get be successful. Let's understand this. Bare minimum you'd require from here. This is the month of September. October, November. By December, we are going to finish the course. Right? December first week or second week? As I mentioned, it, three, three and a half months of training will be there. First, always, whenever you're going to start a lecture or whenever you're going to start the courses, first have a main examination in your mind. And then plan your calendars. And building a calendar is very important. I must say, to, to do list is very important. I also created. My daily task, I built it in the night itself. Say for example, my task is to have to do, say for example, 20 things. Correct? You make a note of that. It's very, very important. May or may not be able to, you, like say for example, you have done 20 things. Sir and ma'am, if you're able to do five things also, now it's good. But make, make that particular to-do list very important. You can do it to the next day also, but you will become habitual with that only. First, you should eye in your to-do list the long shot. Like when you are going to when you are going to clear your lab. You should have one month in your mind. And that you only can select it by looking your calendar, your office space, your family functions and all. Say for example, you are going to take your examination in the month of March, hypothetically. Let's think in a way. So this should be your idle time. March, I'm going to give the examination. So one big chunk of month you have decided. Then decide per month basis. Like what will be my target in the month of September? Like I'll be working only on the ACEs. Then decide per week. This week I will do these four labs. And then you decide per day ways. As I said, it's Sunday, don't do anything. Saturdays do a little bit of the labbing. But please start making your checkbox, checklist. 
पर डे बेसिस आउट ऑफ टेन इफ यू एबल टू डू परफॉर्म टू ऑल्सो ना एटलीस्ट यू आर इन अ प्रोग्रेसिव स्टेट यू कैन राइट इट बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम आई विल ट्राई टू मेक माई वॉट I'll rather write these particular, read this particular blogs. I will, I'll gonna read this particular what you call that book. Okay, this is where I gonna uh, create my own own labs, something like this. You got it. So you need to have plans. You build your goals first. You decide the month. Say for example, March or April will be an ideal time for you guys. This batch, then plan it again accordingly. So your goal in the month of the March or April is to become a CCI. Then plan it per day wise, per week wise, and then per month wise, and then only you will be able to do this and achieve this. Okay. next there are two types of people across the globe right i don't know in which field you gonna light there are people who are early morning people and there are people who are late nights there is nothing wrong in that there so many i've seen in the cci bloggers itself says that please if you want to become a cci you have to be a lad nothing like that i'm a late night guy okay whatever feel you belongs to just keep reading that's what i'm trying to tell you okay you what you are a late night person but yes in india time then it is difficult for you to wake up by 8 o'clock correct but that's fine bare minimum 12 11 1 you can sleep it but sleep is important 7 hours to 8 hours i said it please have a proper sleep and this is going to impact it i'm not just saying for just cause of saying because if you don't sleep properly the things will not come in your mind and this is day of zero only i'm telling you my my lectures will go so high and detail that's the another reason i have just made i used to teach 2 hours i've reduced it to 90 minutes because the content will be very very deep it's difficult to digest that's the reason so please make the gps very important save your time as much as possible and whenever you getting time make sure that use your mobile wisely by 2023 majority of us might be having a smartphones majority ka every one of us having a smartphones maybe android maybe ios download books in your not only in the laptops or the ipads use your mobile if you are in a world stage where you are going start going to the office if you are going in the metros or the cabs if the companies has provided it to you please read in the at that particular point itself make a habit 5 minutes reading 5 to 10 minutes read something before you go to the bed read something but read it 5 minutes you read it download certain pdfs which we will give it to you books in your mobiles also use your smartphone smartly i must say or wisely rather than scrolling on instagram and in increasing your screen time by 2 hours like this is also a study ha huh? average average human in today's world more than 2 hours spend their time on instagram facebook precisely more than 2 hours they spend their time on whatsapp only and telegram four hours to gone here only but here you need to cut down your things this is what the wise man or woman will do it don't cut down your family time let it be there don't cut down your office time let it be there don't have to cut down your travel time here you reduce your time i'm not saying don't do whatsapps it's important office and all 
but just be don't keep on watching the whatsapp videos which in in your school groups college groups families group that you can avoid it and then avoid your instagrams and facebook you scroll it but don't have to have a screen time of two hours reduce it that's what this is where how you're gonna get you're gonna take 45 minutes to one hour this is how you're gonna get it boys very important slide find a practice lab so what is a practice lab now this what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the eve machines okay here the simulator that we're gonna use it guys is the eve if you don't know about this you need the eve simulator for this what is eve you can see that if you do a google this is what i want today every one of you just go to the eve ng website this is the simulator or the emulator which we're gonna use it the emulator the emulated version for network security and net devops guys click on the download option there are two types of eve which are available on the website one is eve ng professional which comes with the license 15000 rupees it will come if will convert to the dollars around about 181 usd dollars it will come 200 dollars will be there it's a paid version if you wanted to have some fancy features and money is not a problem for you you can take professional else you gonna download 90 percent people go with the community edition is there any difference between professional and community yes and the difference is with respect to and the difference is with respect to the labs okay the labs in the sense the look wise more good font size will be there the lines will be more you can add your task over there but with respect to the devices with respect to the devices everything is going to be the same all the list and the features you see it over here these are the features, KVM, topology you can create it, CPU watch, all these are their objectives, everything you can do it. The images which it supports, all Cisco IOS, Linux based, QMU images, ACS, AMP, ICE, 3.0, we're going to do it. ASS, it supports, DCNM, it supports, Firepower, CSR, Catalyst, ESA, WSA, Nexus OS, everything, Juniper, Aruba, Brocade, Citrix, FI load balancers, Fortinet force points, Palo Alto, Palo Alto, Panorama, everything. So Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows servers, Linux, Kali, Ubuntu and all. Click on download. Click on any of this link and make sure with this Eve community, make sure again I'm telling third time, download this Windows client side also. If you are in the Apple, Mac OS, download this. Otherwise this Windows integration package. Make sure you do this integration package and any of this particular thing community edition do it download it upload it in your vmware workstation how to upload this on the vmware workstation we have the videos for you with which on your windows platform you can do it i'm so sorry to say that if you are using macbook pro like i am using you cannot use any any emulator on your system I'm not sure about GNS3 is working right now. 
with Mac. But if you cannot do that, another emulator that you have, guys, is called as Peanut. This is another one, which majority of the people likes it. Peanut Labs. It's pretty much equivalent to the, what do you call that? Eve only, you can download from here. Peanut, download now. Step number one, this is also over here has been told you. You have step number one where how to do this on the Eve deployment hardware. They have given you all those things. How to install that also is being given. So you can either, and the images wise, both are going to be working this on the same images. Okay. Either one thing you can do it. Now coming back to the questions. In your laptop, if you have 12 GB RAM, okay, and some good above 500 GB of storage, i5 also, you can do mostly everything in CCI lab. Anything less than that is going to be a problem. Like then you will be only stuck to the ACES and the VPN. Only two things are going to happen with you. Anything above this, the compute resources, above than this, Compute resources, all helpful. I think, Prasad, you raised the question, 64 GB, it's way to be on. Very good, sir. You can do everything. Everything you can do that. So if you have 12 GB RAM, fantastic. You can do IEs, you can do next gen. Like GUI basis, bare minimum things, you can do it very easily in your laptop. 64 GB, you can do everything, sir. Understanding is the key. Very important factor. Please try to... My USP is to make the things clear to you. My unique selling point will be this only. I'm not a fan of dumps. Dumps have every institute. Right? I'm the one which is going to provide you the justification. This is what I'm trying to tell you. The justification of the CCI is very important. Getting CCI number is also very important. But a person, when you're going to give an interview on the other side of the podium, is not fool guy. Everyone knows how CCIs are getting produced in the market. You need to justify it. For that justification, only the people join me. So it's it's a very good journey that we're going to start it for three, three and a half months. From the scratch to the advanced level, we're going to do it. I don't think so, Satish is going to work it perfectly. Okay. Few more things, but I need to double check it and I'll let you know about it. During the lab, last five minutes, guys. During the lab. When you're going to talk on the lab perspective, on your judgment day, stress is your enemy. Trust me, this slide looks good in the PPTs only. But if you tomorrow send me also into the lab, <laughs> I'll also will be a little bit stressed out. But it's fine. We all are humans. Stress are there. Say, for example, if you got stuck in any of the question, right? It's okay, fine. You go to the next question. And you can come back later into that. I'll tell you the trips and tricks in the boot camps also. Be confident in your knowledge, which is very important also. There are certain segments of the time. See, 95% lab is on the virtual environment. And virtual devices keeps on collecting the garbage values. The moment you're going to keep on reverting it. Do you think that the Cisco is going to deploy every night, every day the labs are getting conducted for the people, for the students, right? Do you think that Cisco is going to create every day a new lab for the students? No. The lab creates one at a time and then we take the snapshots for them. We create the snapshots or we take the backups of there and that backup and snapshot we keep on reverting. The more the 
these backups or or basically these uh, snapshots you're gonna revert it revert it it keeps on collecting the garbage value but at the end of the day resulting in the malfunction of the devices so basically the point is be, between two routers a simple eigrp will not come up it's fine you be confident in your knowledge you can write you can write the notes you can write the feedbacks at the end of the uh, at the end of the examination sir with due respect in a in a well articulated manner you should write it sir with due respect we have done everything between r1 and r2 my eigrp i am confident about my knowledge there could be a possibility that the cisco devices are misbehaving or mis mismanaging it over there kindly have a look into this at this given moment of a time the proctor is going to come into the picture and will do a manual intervention because the lab check is will be done by the script it's all automation artificial intelligence everything is being artificial intelligence as well as automated but when you write a feedback the proctor is going to manually check for that particular question and if he feels that because this this could be a dependent question on top of that you might be running on this if the routes are not going to exchange how are you going to reach to the destination right so might possible there would be a dependent question which is going to be dependent on this eigrp and because your eigrp didn't came up things will will not work the end to end connectivity would be having a problem or the issues right so in that particular case the proctor comes immediately at the time of checking the things and the proctor is going to take care of the things for us understand the questions as much as possible which is very important read the question properly for you the password might be for you the password is c cap c cisco for me the password is c sys 0 read question properly they play around most of the time they play around on the passwords only slow is better than fast of course yes but not to the true statement okay basically meaning is You don't have to be extra fast to do the labs because we all are humans which are prone towards errors, right? Little bit, yes, you need to do the things in a fast way. I'm not denying that, but don't be like extra, extra fast, right? And this is also the reality over the period of, sir, at 3.3, three, three, in this case, what should be our in this case what should tell you just that i'll tell you is the uh, boot camps right how to work on that how to work and how to connect with the proctors that everything in the boot camp when you'll uh, and will provide you the boot camps now we will deliver you about all the tips and tricks right just here now please understand in your entire six months of course which includes your boot camp your rack practice sessions my technologies lectures and everything the only one thing which I will not be able to give it to you and that is called as a speed. I hope you understand that. That you need to build it. It is your responsibility. You might have seen that on the airports, the big planes are there, right? And these big planes where the passenger comes and sit. But this big plane to reach to the runway a small tractor will be there in front of it. My role is this small tractor only. I can take you to the runway. But at the end of the day, you only have to fly on your own. I'm your guider. I'm your, I'm, I can show you the path. I can guide you. I'm not going to do the spoon feeding. Correct? None of the trainers are going to do this. I can give you as much as I can do it, but practice you need to do it. I can show you the path. You have to fly on your own. Okay? And this is day zero. My name is Nitin Sharma. I hope you enjoy this session. Any questions?